They're simple, but yet they're beautiful and, and unique and just, you know, something to keep people aware of the beauty of nature. The Skyscape series, I call it sort of a fantasy realism. It's kind of like uh, bringing the outside inside. And to me, art really has no boundaries. It, to me, it's, there's, you know, no right or wrong. You can sort of, uh, you know, go anywhere you want. There's no rules, really. I really believe in it, and I'm glad I, I can, you know, have a teaching degree or, well, I teach on my own private classes in New Roads, but I'm glad, you know, if I can even turn one kid on to, you know, how, you know, his individuality or give him enough self-esteem. I guess that's why it's always been special to me because it's, you know, something, it's kind of like your handwriting. Everybody's got their own style. That's why it's important for the kids, too. It helps them, you know, with different problems in life because if they're doing a painting and they can't quite resolve it but they keep working on it, persistence and, and studying it and everything, and then finally it comes together and it turns out to be one of their best pieces. So in life they can apply that to their other, you know, situations in life that they think, you know, well, I'll never get this resolved and, you know, finally just through persistence and, you know, just the, the self-discipline of doing it makes, makes you feel good. It makes you kind of feel like you did something special. And a lot of uh, my kids I've heard are architects and working with advertising agents. Every time I run into one of the mamas, she tells me, oh, they're, she's going to architecture school. And I say, well, I hope I had a little bit to do with that, you know. And I'm patient, you know. It's not like a school atmosphere. I, I don't try and push them and I, I try and develop their ideas and just, you know, take my time and, you know, try not to, um, you know, help them too. Well, I help them. I try not to paint on the painting because, you know, you're not supposed to do that, but uh, I try and, you know, get them to a point where they can, uh, you know, develop their own ideas and, and uh, it's just a matter of having enough self-discipline and willpower to keep going and, and keep doing it. And, and an artist never really finishes or doing anything. I mean, they're always learning. I mean, if an artist says, oh, well, I know everything there is to know, probably means they don't because, you know, the artist never stops learning or creating. There's always something, you know, another level they can go to or, you know, something else that, that's going to be discovered. I've gotten to a point where I just, you know, go for it with the paint because it's real free form. And I've t sometimes I'll draw if there's a figure or something in it, you know, just a sketch to give me a, a, an idea of the composition. Um, and then I mix all my colors. I, I paint big, so when I start to paint, I need, I need a lot of time. I don't like to be interrupted. I won't answer the phone or I'll turn it off or anything. I like to know I have uh, at least a couple of days and, you know, a lot of hours that I, you know, don't have to be interrupted and everything. Because when, when you're in the, f in the flow, when an artist is painting and, and you interrupt their creative flow, it's, it's just like anything else, a writer or anything, you know. Um, it's like being a football player running for a touchdown and, you know, somebody jumps on you and you, you, know, you, you know, have a harder time getting there. But uh, once you get started, it's uh, hard to stop. But I just feel so good after I finish a piece that really works. Say, after I finish uh, Amber Dawn, I just felt so good about it. I mean, it just, I don't know, just, you know, nothing could hurt me. I just felt like, you know, the world was wonderful. It just, I just don't feel... Well, I don't know if happy is the word, but I just, I don't know, I just feel like something's missing when I'm not painting or... A painting is not just a, a something pretty you look at. Actually, a painting is more how you feel. Just like music. When you hear music, you, you can feel sad or happy, you know, or, or scared or something. That's, you know, it's, it's all about feeling, how it makes you feel. Every piece is different. Every piece is like a ch one of my children almost. You know, when I sell a piece, it's kind of like, you know, bye, saying goodbye to a good friend or something. In 71, I went to, uh, I was, became a Delta stewardess, which is sort of, I guess the sky, the sky was always in the back of my mind because, you know, there I was up in the sky, you know. And remember, I always used to look out the little window and see all the cloud formations. You just th thought it was awesome. I guess I complain about the heat and humidity, but maybe <laughs> there's sort of a blessing in disguise there. Um, you know, our weather does promote, and the big thunderstorms, I just, uh, you know, I don't want to get in them, but I just love the, you know, just the sound and the rain, and I have a tin roof, and I, you know, I love to hear the rain on the roof, and um, uh, I don't know, I think a lot of times when it's lightning outside, my, my lightning paintings kind of come alive <laughs> in a way, they almost like, you know, be, become uh, electricity themselves, uh, to me anyway. But um, 
Mainly I like painting the outside is because I'm worried about the, you know, the planet, you know, all the pollution around and I think we need, we really need to wake up because, you know, we're going to not have a home before long. So I figured my skyscapes would be a good way to remind people, you know, to take care of our Mother Earth. You know, I searched for a while for something that I could stick to for years and years and I finally, you know, decided uh, I'd stick with my sky, my clouds, my skyscapes. To me, my pain has brought me closer to God because I don't know how I do it sometimes. You know, I look at a pain, I go, God, did I really do that? It's, it's sort of like, you know, going from, you know, God through me through, to the painting in a way, you know, kind of, if to explain it. But, uh, yeah, actually the closest I f feel to God or spirituality or whatever, you know, your, your term is for it is, is through my art. I think that's kind of why I, I stick to it as much as I do.